Well, out for our annual Lake Powell fishing trip. Finally got dad out here, come catch some stripers at Powell. We'll see how we do. Beautiful weather today, about 80 degrees for the high today. No wind at all. And it's supposed to be blowing pretty hard tomorrow. So hopefully we do pretty good. Been here about 20 minutes and looks like we got a school coming in underneath. So hopefully we'll get into them here in a second. Well guys, same old standard Lake Powell. <laughs> Once you get one, you get a whole bunch. And we got the one and I had about lost my pole. And we got, what do we got? Five now? Four? Oh, got a yeah. <laughs> man down. I hooked into one, started reeling it in. Dad hooked into one, reeled it in, and it had my bait and his bait from my other pole in his mouth. Hungry stripers, and we just got another one, and Dad had a hit and had the bimini top in the way, so we removed that. And I can't stay standing up in this freaking boat. Well, we'll wait for the, the cluster to ensue. Dad's got one, I got two poles out, so we'll see what happens. You got a good one? About six and a half, seven pounds is the biggest one I've caught out of this area. Uh, it's like a pretty good one. Oh, now I got one again. No, nope, maybe not. <laughs> My pole's going off and dad's got, no, I got one. He's running. Either that or you hooked me. All right, guys, pause. There we go. A little better fish. A little bit better. Probably three pounds, maybe three and a half. That's twice now, guys. We both caught the same fish. I think he's got all three of them in his mouth. He might. I think that fish has got all three of our baits in his mouth. <laughs> he's got all three of our baits in his mouth. My pole went, dad's pole went, and then my other pole went, and he's got all of them. <laughs> I'll get back to you guys in a second. I got a fish on, dad's got a fish on. I'll get these in the boat. Well, I'd say that's a pretty successful day of fishing. Doubled up on the last cast of the day. We'll take it. And uh, yeah, now we gotta go clean everything up, fish in the boat, and get this thing returned before all of that nasty blackness comes over here and gets us wet. Probably 40 fish there in five hours, maybe. Well, I was gonna try and wait for everybody to get here before I started dinner, but as you can see, it is almost dark. Where's the sun at? Really low, right on the ridge line over there. Fire going and really, really easy recipe here. I've got my my stripers in a bag right there. Uh, pretty much any white fish will work. And just soaking it in lime juice. It's been sitting there for about two hours. And then I've got from our local grocery store, Harmon's uh, fresh pineapple salsa stuff is delicious and then I've got a couple different kinds of coleslaw It really doesn't matter. You can just put plain cabbage on there This stuff actually is pretty cool because it doesn't have the sauce in it yet It's just the cabbage and then it has a little package of sauce in it. So a couple different flavors there Got some extra lime juice Got some cheese. Those are for tomorrow night and then um, Corn tortillas and I really like this pineapple habanero salsa, or not salsa, hot sauce. And then the seasoning, I just use a little bit of seasoned salt. And then I bought this stuff. I don't know how it's gonna do. I'll try it on a couple of them, but it may or may not turn out really well. And then just some corn tortillas. I got a couple uh, different kinds. I haven't tried those ones yet. They're a little bit bigger. Uh, those are white corn and those are yellow corn. And then obviously some limes. Nothing very fancy with it. Just gonna put the fish in a cast iron pan and cook it over the fire with a little bit of the seasoning. And like I said, it's soaking in lime juice. Cook them till they're done. And then cook the tortillas in some oil and I'll show you guys that here in a little bit. All right, getting ready to put the stove or the, the pan on the fire. Joe's doing all the hard work over here with the Pulaski, not even a splitter, the Pulaski. And what did you say, Derek? Where'd this come from? Uh, this was in the entryway of the home that fell down nice. days ago. So somebody's house basically fell apart and we're getting the wood from it. So it works out really good. So strong, Joe. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I just got a cast iron pan. I think it's a Lodge brand, but I don't know. I love cast iron, love cooking on cast iron. Coals are just about ready to go. Got all the spread over here on my tailgate table. 
Gonna put a little bit of vegetable oil. I think it's actually canola oil. Nope, vegetable oil. In the pan, make sure nothing sticks. And uh, yeah, then I'm gonna throw the fish in and start cooking it. We need to put Gabby's fun policing again. Straight up fun police. So just a little bit of seasoned salt. So Layla's staying How dare they have so much fun. All right, guys, we're going straight buffet style here. Got the first round off. Got to get the tortillas done. Got the fish. I'll get the tortillas on next. Then we got three different flavors of coleslaw. Got your cheese and your salsa and your hot sauce and your lime. Nothing like a tailgate table. No, I think that's just about right, actually. Could almost be more. You can put some of that lime, that crystallized lime that I found on there. Good stuff? Mm, no, it's good. Perfect. You have one yet, Michael? Nope. What's the consensus? Is it good? They're delicious. Worth eating? Oh, yeah. Worth it? Good. Worth the effort? Yeah, thank you. Yeah, yep. especially thank for me. You. I didn't do shit. Yeah, even better. I know. <laughs> All I had to do was show up. You guys gonna be able to Works out good. I mean, I did, I did eat them, so I did put it in. Well, you did do something. Yeah. I mean. I can pay you in a Miller Lite. I'll take a Miller Lite. Yeah. You're in the back of the Jeep.